Hello there guys and welcome to Coxnut Gaming and welcome to my first challenge video not including the introduction one I did and um, so my first challenge here is from Riccio I've got 3 minutes 20 to beat him so let's do this so the castle's a tiny bit lower level than me but that shouldn't with the adjusted level it shouldn't affect me too much in regards to uh, Defeating it quickly. Well, as you can see, this Robo Shield is actually giving me quite a bit of trouble. Just got a very similar mob to my first one, apart from we decided that um, Smelly Warrior will have more of an impact than the Cyclops. And to be honest, Smelly Warriors are doing a lot of damage at the moment, so that might well be the case. So, let's take out this Pete Pan more quickly. And it's got Smelly Archer accompanying it. That's a nice mob. And that's a really nice trap placement there, as you can see. I always say that if a mob uh, can be defeated without taking any damage, then that's when you need to change it. Whereas, as you can see, oh my god, that Zeke did a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm seeing what people mean about Zeke's are a bit broken at the moment. Bloody hell. Bloody hell. Alright, let's start that one again. So, it looks like I need to... Not just pull that derp, I need to use my volley and try and kill that Zeke as quick as possible. I did not realise Zeke's were doing that much damage with that split shot ability. Um, I might have to utilise that myself a bit, because that was ridiculous. That, I think that was more than what my guy would do on a headshot, to be honest. Alright, so... Nah, that is a very nice mob to start off with, but I'd say that... Um, the warrior is in the wrong position, because as you can see there, um, uh, the warrior wasn't coming at me until I'd already had time to kill the Roman Shieldatron. So uh, I'd definitely recommend moving your warrior forward a bit more. And also, I mean, the reason I prefer the Cyclops in that mob is just because. Um, oh, pardon me. It's just because they're a bit faster moving and their attacks are a bit faster, so. You you you, um, you get a bit more bang for your buck, like while they're trying to focus down the uh, thingy. He's got it enraged as well. That's why it's doing so much damage. There we go. That went a bit smoother that time. So no, yeah, Zeke's obviously definitely have some uh, good damage at the moment, especially. Uh, Especially when enraged. I don't know whether that was because of a bad dog or that if there was a priest there, but yeah, he was definitely packing a huge punch there. Right, so, just trying to pull these guys back because when you do see a bit of a, a few jump pads like this, you can usually uh, assume that someone's trying to. Uh, Ah, oh, bastard! So close. Let's finish him off quick. There we go. So, again, Smelly Warriors. Um, sorry, uh, Jimbo's are good, but I'd say having them in a wide open space like that probably isn't the best idea because because they're kind of slow moving and they have a slow attack speed. Um, it, it's not the best best thing in the world to have. Oh no. Right, let's pull these guys back because this has got a bit... Uh oh. This isn't going well. That's a, quite a nice mob. I mean, I was dumb and ran into two mobs there, but that was quite a nice uh, placement to kind of force you to run into a second mob without even, without really thinking about it. So yeah, that was really nice there. And uh, probably, actually quite a nice uh, selection of mobs for that situation. Oh. Yeah, see, he definitely likes these uh, Zeeks at the moment. OP. 
So, uh, crap roll. So, I've actually lost already. I'm 10 seconds over what he, he had. So, I wouldn't be surprised if there's not any Zeke's here, to be honest. Uh. Oh, it was actually... Oh, it's a, a Mittens. Um, I'm, not, I'm not really sure how I feel about Mittens. I'd say... They're not the best mob in the world, because as you can see, this guy doesn't actually seem to have got the speed boost that you'd expect from it, so... Um, I, I would recommend replacing that Mittens with um, either another Zeke, since they do seem to have some really nice damage at the moment, or uh, my personal favourite kind of elite unit at the moment, which is the... Uh, I can't remember what they're called now, off the top of my head. The, the elite goat with the flaming trail behind it. But um, all in all, that was a very nice dungeon. There was, yeah, just those few little things I mentioned would probably improve it a little bit, I'd, th I'd say. But um, no, yeah, for, for, for the, the level it was, uh, it was very good. Well done. Alright then, guys, my next challenge appears to be from NSTD or NUST. So, uh,. Let's see what we uh, get from this. It's a level 29 dungeon, so I'm going to be going up a few levels for this. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to struggle quite a lot with this then, because uh, I tend to struggle to do dungeons of my own level, let alone two levels higher. Um, wow, I suck up my own castle. Alright then, so I'm kind of glad that he's bet a small amount for this, because I can pretty much guarantee I'm not going to be able to beat his time, and to be honest, I think I'm going to struggle not to do it without dying, so let's get started. So I'm rolling with my normal setup for, for this one. Just a uh, headshot, volley, roll, and bear traps. And he appears to have chickens. So he's pulling anything. I'm trying to listen out, see if I can hear some footsteps. Yes, I can. Survive to a nice and timed headshot there. What the hell's that? Oh no, we got one of these guys. Oh, see, this is something I'm not used to. But, it might be something I can deal with. Oh crap. What's going on? There's so many mobs I don't recognise. Oh my goodness. Oh god, yeah, I'm not going to do this at all. Oh, grab that health, you bastard! Oh my god, these bombs, how far do they run? Nah, that's ridiculous, man. I don't think I'm going to do this dungeon at all. Um. I don't really have enough money to keep resin, but let's start over and take it a bit slower. Bloody hell. Yeah, I, I think uh, dungeons which are above my level, uh, I, I can't guarantee that I will be able to complete them at all. I think it's going to have to be my rule on that one. Um, see, where is this thing? Oh, it's over there. Let's see if I can take it out of a volley. I think I completely missed it on all fronts, to be honest. And I've just pulled the other mob! Oh my god! Nah, this is bullcrap. I ain't gonna be able to do this. Don't know what to do with this one really. I don't think I'm gonna be able to get past the first room unless I waste a crap ton of money. So uh Yes. Alright then, so let me think about this. What abilities could help with this? Possibly bear traps. Hmm. Yeah, I think alright, I'm gonna give it one more go. If I can't do it a third time in a row. 
Uh, anyway, if I can't at least get past the first room, I'm going to accept defeat and make a new rule that your dungeon has to be like my level at max, otherwise it's just not going to be able to be done. Alright, so I think I missed that bombard a little bit. So let's... Oh, God. Uh, it doesn't even seem to do that much damage to him anyway, so... Oh my god. Nah, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm uh, accepting defeat on this one, so... Yeah, I'm afraid NSTD, your dungeon is just too hard for my current level. I apologise. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, and so moving on to the third and final challenge for this uh, video. I've got a feeling Evil Metal's dungeon's as hard as that one. What level is this called? Yeah, 29 gonna pass on that one um, so let's do Dark Harlequin whose dungeon is 23 yeah that's better where's he gone there we go good luck time speed is 7 minutes 40 seconds so so far in this first first video I've failed twice so let's see if we can end on a win but uh, then again these people do all know their dungeons so they have an advantage over me. Alright. Okay, that first mob was pretty easy to beat. Um, I'd say probably killer crabs aren't the best thing to have in a dungeon. Uh, every time I see them, they really don't seem to add anything to the mix at all. Um, ooh, purple item. Uh, yeah, they don't seem to actually add anything to the mix at all. Yeah, sometimes they can be a bit annoying to kill, but at the same time, that is very, very, very rarely. Just drop this on myself. Do rolls. What's up, dodging? Alright, that could have gone a bit smoother. That was quite a nice mob, but I haven't seen uh, too much effective uses when it comes to. Um, vampires but uh, that being said they are they do do some nice damage when it left unchecked so so yeah that was probably one of the better vampire mobs I have seen just because they had to come in late and there was a lot of them so you couldn't just nuke them down well where did these two come from No. Oh. Uh, that being said, like again, that also applies for these. Uh, oh god, this uh, hunger bot's getting annoying. Um, that also applies for the squidlies. Like they they they're good in theory, but they never really seem to, you know, do that well. So yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sure how I strictly feel about about them. Like, I, I, I'd personally never use them apart from a, f a pillar, but yeah, so I, I'd, I'd say possibly those two mobs in that room could use a slight rethinking of putting something more viable in, but um, that doesn't mean that, like, yeah, definitely like trying them out is, is still good. No, oh, God. Uh, Mega Muttons are, as I've said in my own castle, they're, they're the shit at the moment, so yeah, that was... Good cool having one of them there, and you've got them in an I ideal position as well. Like, um, like in a closed-in space like this, they they are really good, and so uh, like that's probably a better position than where I have mine at the moment. Oh, so let's look at this chicken, see what that ends up pulling. Oh crap, this isn't going well. What are we doing? There we go. Right, what's my time saying? 3 minutes 30. I've got 7 minutes 40 to beat. Oh, it's getting tough. Is this the boss room? No. Oh, oh, I thought I got hit by that. 
I definitely like the uh, the better hitbox they've put on. Oh crap! Almost got grabbed. Nice. Oh, come on! I must be getting close. All right, let's cast you on him. Oh, didn't see them over there. Crap! No. Oh, this isn't going to go well. Let's uh, do that. Okay, that worked out well. I definitely think that that's really overpowered what I've just done. Like, you shouldn't be able to to shoot where you can't see. Um, but that being said, I'm using it how it how it kind of is used at the moment. So. I wouldn't go as far to say as it's an e exploit, but it's definitely more overpowered than I think it should be. Oh, okay, that's close. Uh, I do think this is now the boss room, and I've got three minutes left, so this could potentially, for the sake of my videos at least, he's probably going to come back and, uh, and beat it himself, but this could be my first win. Oh, I haven't actually seen a high rank Mr. Snottingham before, so this could be interesting. Oh crap. Bloody hell. Yeah, he's... Oh my god, this is hard. Oh my god, that was hard, man. That was harder than I thought it would be, actually. Oh god, this little mob alive. No! Time! Yes! Why is my time still ticking? Why is my time still ticking? Get through the door, get through the door! Has that actually counted all that extra time as well? I think it has as well, yeah. Alright, so, there you go guys. When you're doing challenge mode, it's not just getting into the treasure room, you've got to get out of the door as well. Huzzah! Nice boss mob. Alright, so there we have it guys, for this first video two losses well one loss one concedes because it was just too much for me and one victory so let me know what you guys thought of the video uh, with a like or a comment and if you, you know you want to be in a future one remember that you need to challenge me because um, a lot of people added me after I started this uh, challenge thing but then not anyone has actually managed not many people have actually challenged me yet so uh, let me know that you want to appear in a future video by sending me a challenge. So yeah, I'll see you later guys.